Have you ever wondered how a watch born from the ashes of war could become a beacon of timeless elegance? Or how a diver's timepiece revolutionized an industry? And what about a pilot's watch that not only soared through the skies, but also etched its mark in history? Get ready to embark on an expedition through time as we journey through the enigmatic tapestry of watchmaking's finest, unearthing the mysteries, the artistry, and the engineering marvels that have made these timepieces true icons. Welcome to The Opulent. Subscribe and let's dive in. The Langer 1, though a relatively young watch introduced in 1994, carries a legacy that dates back to 1845, when Ferdinand Adolf Lang founded A. Lang and C. in Glaschuta, Saxony. This German watchmaking town had seen its fair share of turmoil, with World War II and the Cold War devastating the industry. However, with the resurgence of German watchmaking after reunification, the reconstituted Lang firm, led by Walter Langer, paved the way for the modern collection with the Langer One as its shining flagship. What sets the Langer One apart is its unconventional and distinctive design. The watch boasts a layout of large and small overlapping subdials, bearing ancient German design fonts. Its analog power reserve indicator showcases German language ALF up and ALB down indicators, adding a touch of uniqueness. Notably, the large date display draws inspiration from the clock at Dresden's Semper Opera House, tying the watch to historical roots. Under the hood, the in-house movement reflects Saxon watchmaking traditions with its untreated German silver three-quarter mainplate adorned with glass shutter stripes. The balance cock showcases hand-engraved finishing, while the swan's neck regulating device adds a touch of elegance. The Langer One stands as the epitome of German high watchmaking's revival and the pinnacle of balanced dial design. Its asymmetrical yet harmonious layout sets it apart from its peers, making it an unmistakable and timeless icon in the horological world. Today, the Langer One serves as the foundation for a versatile collection, offering high complications like dual time indications and perpetual calendars, cementing its position as a true masterpiece of artistry and engineering. Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Audemars Piguet's journey in watchmaking began in 1875, but it was the revolutionary Royal Oak that truly etched its mark in horological history. In 1972, the Royal Oak made a grand entrance, courtesy of the brilliant mind of Gerald Genter. Nicknamed Jumbo for its larger-than-life 39mm case diameter, this timepiece boasted an unprecedented octagonal-shaped bezel with exposed hexagonal screws at each corner, reminiscent of a diver's helmet. The dial's checkerboard textured guilloche pattern, known as Grand Tapissiere, added a touch of elegance. Genta's inspiration for the watch was nautical, evident in the dive helmet elements and the name itself, Royal Oak, a tribute to the British naval warships named after the oak tree that sheltered King Charles II during the English Civil War. Inside the iconic case beat the world's thinnest mechanical watch movement with the date indication at the time, the calibre 2121, measuring a mere 3.05 millimetres in height. The Royal Oak broke barriers by being made of stainless steel, an unthinkable choice for a high-priced luxury watch during that era. Yet it defied norms and set a precedent for future watchmaking. It birthed an entire family of Royal Oak models, spanning various complications and materials, each following in the pioneering footsteps of the original. Undeniably, the Royal Oak secures its place among horological immortals. Although it wasn't an overnight success, this timepiece laid the foundation for what we now recognize as the luxury sports watch. Its groundbreaking design elements, including visible screws, octagonal bezels, textured dials, and integrated bracelets, become a template emulated by countless watches in the decades that followed. The Royal Oak's influence on the watchmaking industry remains unparalleled, solidifying its iconic status and forever shaping the course of watch design. Blanc Payne, the oldest luxury watchmaker in the world, has an illustrious history dating back to founding in 1735 in Villeray, Switzerland. However, one of its most renowned timepieces was born in a much more recent era, 1953 to be precise. The 50 Fathoms, initially designed as a tool watch for military divers, became a trailblazer in the world of horology. Jean-Jacques Fichte, 
then at the helm of Blanc Payne, was an enthusiastic diver and sought to create a watch ideal for his hobby. Collaborating with Captain Robert Melubier, a French naval officer, they crafted a reliable timepiece for Melubier's elite combat diving team. The 50 Fathoms featured a 42mm steel case, remarkably large for its time, with a water resistance of 50 fathoms, equivalent to 91.45 metres, making it perfect for scuba diving. Its dial was black with luminescent numerals for enhanced legibility underwater. Remarkably, the 50 Fathoms held several firsts in the world of dive watches. It was the first to have a self-winding movement, an anti-magnetic case, and a patented double-sealed crown, all contributing to its robustness and functionality. Most notably, it was the first to introduce a unidirectional rotating bezel with a dive time scale, preventing divers from miscalculating their oxygen levels during their underwater ventures. While the 50 Fathoms initially gained recognition only among watch enthusiasts, it later secured its iconic status. It disappeared from the market for a period, and its historical significance came to the forefront relatively recently. Yet, its pioneering design and association with legendary explorer Jacques Cousteau in his acclaimed undersea documentary The Silent World further cemented its reputation. The 50 Fathoms stands as the first modern dive watch and is hailed for introducing the unidirectional rotating bezel, a feature now nearly ubiquitous in the dive watch category. Its contributions to the world of horology and its rich history make a truly iconic timepiece, cherished by watch aficionados and divers alike. The Breguet Type XX collection pays homage to the pioneering spirit of the Breguet family in advancing the world of aviation. Its roots trace back to Breguet Aviation, founded by Louis Charles Breguet, the great-grandson of founder Abraham Louis Breguet in 1911. The company supplied aircraft to both military and civilian clients, and in 1952, they commissioned the original Type 20 watch from Breguet watch firm. The watch, sporting a 38.5mm steel case and a manual winding value 222 flyback chronograph movement, adhered to the rigorous Type 20 specifications set by the French Ministry of War during World War II for pilots' watches. French Navy pilots donned the Irona Veil models at this time until the 1980s. In 1995, the modern Montre Brugret reintroduced the Type 20, expanding it into a luxurious product family in the 2000s. Gradually, they replaced the Arabic 20 with the Roman XX, maintaining the watch's historical significance. The contemporary iteration of the Type XX reflects its 1950s origins, with a 42mm steel case, a fluted bezel, and luminous Arabic numerals and hands. Inside, an in-house automatic movement boasts a flyback chronograph function, the case for icon status. As the first flyback chronograph calibre in a military-targeted pilot's watch, the Type XX joins the ranks of the Breitling Navitimer, and IWC Big Pilot's watch as a timepiece that left an indelible mark on aviation industry. Its connection to Breguet Aviation and its adherence to the esteemed Type 20 specifications make it a time-honored and influential addition to the world of aviation watches. The Breguet Type XX stands as a testament to the innovation and enduring legacy of the Breguet family in both watchmaking and aviation. Thank you for watching. Follow for more.